everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing another unboxing video but this one is a little bit special because it's actually a birthday present from my friend Marissa. Now Marissa and I started YouTube around the same time. Marissa started first and kind of gave me the encouragement to actually start this channel. So I'll link you to her YouTube channel down below, The Orchid Nerd. It's quite funny because she was wanting to send me something for my birthday and she's actually just got a new job, uh, which she's been working really hard on for quite some time. So I kind of wanted to send her some more kids as a kind of congratulations, um, but I wasn't really sure how to do it. So she actually brought it up and said that she'd like to send me um, an orchid for my birthday, but she wasn't sure how to kind of go about it or what I'd want. And I was like, oh, I wanted to send you some more kids, but I wasn't sure how to go about it or what you'd want. So we both sent each other kind of ideas for what we'd like and I've sent her some orchids as a congratulation present and it's my birthday today and these orchids from her have arrived so I'm really excited to unbox and see what's in here. One of the orchids in here is actually one that the UK seller that I really like from eBay by Sotic Plants had Dimorphorchus loei and Marissa was kind of super keen to get hold of one and they still had one when she placed the order for my birthday so I think there's also one in here which I'm going to send on to her because she was super excited to actually get one so it just makes it easier that way if she adds this on to the order and I can just send it straight to her. So let's get unboxing. Now this parcel actually arrived yesterday and um, but my boyfriend and Marissa both said to wait until my birthday to actually open it. So I very patiently waited. It's been sitting in the hall, taunting me a little bit. So I'm excited to be able to open it now. Let's see, as usual, this is packaged really well. Huh. So, I did say to Marissa, um, just to get me one orchid if she really wanted to get me anything which I kind of like I felt a little bit bad that she was even wanting to get me something to be honest it's so so sweet of her um, but there's three orchids in here one of them is her Dimorphorchus loei um, yeah so she's been a little bit naughty she shouldn't have got me more than one orchid so let's have a look Ooh, this is Angrecum Lady Lisa. I'm really getting into my Angrecums at the moment and they had this little one for sale and it's supposed to be super fragrant. The flowers are gorgeous and it's supposed to stay quite compact from what I've read. So, so I'm super excited to try this one out. And so far Angrecums have been very forgiving for me. I really enjoy growing them. They're like really cute little vanders that enjoy being potted. So that's kind of a win all round. Some of them are massive, but they're quite a diverse genus. So you can get some quite compact ones. It's that little guy there. And usually spisotic plants are pretty good. Um, you can see it's got a good root there. So I will be repotting this just because I'm not really sure what it's in. But yeah, that's a really nice, healthy little plant. So thank you so much, Marissa. <laughs> um, now let's see what else she has put in here because... Oh, I think this is her little Dimorphorchus. So let's have a look at this one. So... I actually got one of these from the exact same seller. It came in a very similar pot to this. I can see the roots have kind of grown in the same way. It looks very healthy. I am going to unbox this for her and just unpackage it because I don't think it's good for it to just sit like this for however long it takes me to post it. So obviously you want to keep this in the best possible condition for her. 
until I compost it. Okay, so you've got lots of good roots in there. I will be sending Marissa some pictures of this straight away because she is super keen to see how it's going. Actually, it looks like it's got even more roots than my one did, which is great. It doesn't have any little keikis or anything, unfortunately. But it looks like a really nice, healthy little plant. And it's very light green compared to mine, so I think it's been getting quite a bit of light. Got some a weird little plant look growing in there. But yeah, this is in exactly the same mix as mine was when I got it. So hopefully it'll be just as healthy for her as mine was. And I will get that posted to her as soon as possible so that she can unbox it and set it up in her environment. Oh, there's a growing root tip. That'll make her happy. Just focus in on that. That's super good. I'm really happy that it's a good plant for her. Okay. So, what else do we have? Oh, this is the little Holker Glossom hybrid. Holker Glossom Flavescens crossed with Vanda Cerulea Sense. Oh, that's really sweet of her. Look how cute it is. love it it's so like oh it's so cute it's got so many little cakeys as well let's get this out of here look how cute and bushy it is it's so adorable it almost looks like a little near Phoenicia. it's gorgeous i love it it's got so many good growing roots as well that's so amazing gonna have to repot that it's literally climbing out of its pot so yeah, those are my two birthday presents from Marissa, which is really amazing of her. And I'm gonna send her a message straight away saying thank you so much and sending her some little pictures of her Dimorphorcus lowii, which will be in the post to her shortly. So thanks so much for watching today and definitely recommend checking out Marissa's channel if you haven't already, which is Orchid Nerd and I'll link it down below. She's super passionate about catacetums in the same way that I'm kind of a bit obsessive about Miltoniopsis, catacetinae are her thing and she's kind of encouraging me at the moment to give them a go. I'm a little bit scared. I've ordered a couple and I, I bought a little Clawesia Grace Dunn, which I promptly um, rotted the new growths of. I'm a bad orchid parent. Um, but yeah, she's kind of encouraging me to keep going with them. I'm really grateful to have met her. And yeah, this is getting a little bit emotional, isn't it? But <laughs> yeah, she's, um, she's a really great friend and I'm really happy with her birthday presents. Although it's very sweet of her and I would have been perfectly happy if she hadn't sent me anything and just sent me a happy birthday because I, I feel a little bit bad that she got me such lovely orchids. But yeah, I really appreciate them. So yeah, I will send her thank yous obviously, but I'm gonna thank her again for them. And I will keep you guys updated on these two little guys' progress. And I'm sure Marissa will be doing an unboxing shortly when her um, congratulations orchid, or kids maybe, get to her. And I will send this along to her as soon as I can. So you probably see that on her channel as well. So thanks so much for watching today and if you enjoyed this video then don't forget to give it a like or subscribe to my channel for more regular orchid updates and I will see you guys later. Bye!